Well, hello everybody. Good morning. Thank you for, thank you for coming to this session about uh, attacking internet connection in IPv6 network. I'm Chema Alonso. I'm from Spain. And this is the, the sixth year that I'm speaking here in, in DEF CON. And year after year, I've been, before delivering the talk, I've been trying to convince you to come into my country. How many of you have been to Spain in the last six years? Please, hands up. Hey, very well. <laughs> Did you enjoy Spain? Yeah? Well, for the rest of you, I've been trying year after year to convince you talking about the beaches, the parties, the beaches, the parties, the bullfighters, and so on. And this year I'm going to try a different, a different approach. So I'm going to try to convince you to, to visit my country doing a quick summary about the history of Spain. The history of Spain in only one minute. Is okay for you? <laughs> well, 2,000 years ago, <laughs> Spain was a, a Romanian country. In fact, we have uh, some of the best uh, Roman emperors born in Spain, like Trajano and Adriano. And if you visit Spain, you can discover in the middle of the city a lot of Roman monuments like this in Segovia or this theater in Merida. All country is full of these uh, Roman monuments. Centuries uh, after, Spain was a medieval country. And if you visit the country, you will find a lot of castles. Actually, there are uh, hundreds and hundreds of castles. And you can visit all of them. Even you can buy it if you have enough money. Because uh, some of them are for selling. <laughs> it's true. It's not a joke. <laughs> After that, Spain was an Arabic country, seven centuries being an Arabic country. And if you visit Spain, you will discover that there are a lot of mesquitas around the, the country with beautiful monuments in all the country. And after that, Spain was an empire. Probably you know it. <laughs> and like Spain was an empire, all great artists wanted to work for the empire. So in Spain, there are a lot of museums with great artists paintings like this. So are you going to visit Spain, please? OK. Well, we are not an empire anymore, as you probably know. <laughs> so let's talk about Foca. How many of you know Foca? How many of you love Foca? Yeah. Well, today I'm going to talk about another foca. It's not the foca that you probably know. It's the it's a a nebul foca, and it's a foca based on on hacking networks. The idea of this tool is that probably most of the user any time in their life have tried a very dangerous command in their operating system, which is the IP config. Had you ever tried this command? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> It's very dangerous and very difficult to understand this command because, well, as you can see, it's in Spanish because Spanish is better. And, <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, there is a special magic in the result that you can see because if you ask to any user that uh, type this command, what is the IP address, all users are going to say 192.168.1 and so on. Nobody can see the IP address on top of the list. Have you seen that IP address? The big one? Yeah? Most of users when, uh, when realize that, that there is something on top of the IP address, do something like this. <laughs> well, the truth is that in all Windows operating system, IPv6 is, wor is working by default. It's turning on. So if you go to, to test your, IP, uh, your network configuration, you can realize that IPv6 is turning on and by default is configured like this. It's in Spanish, you know, but that means uh, um, automatically configuration. That means that IPv6 is waiting to be configured to run on the machine. But it is working. And if you uh, test the routing table, you can realize that you have all the routing table for IPv6 installing your in your computer and even one of the most dangerous command, the ping. Ping is working. So I'm going to do a demo, an easy one. I got two machines. One of those is this blue. The blue is the server. And as you can see we have an, IP ad an IPv6 address and an IPv4. The IPv6 is 
FA80 whatever and the IPv4 is 192, 168, 10, 1. And if we go to the client, to the other machine, which is the red one, and try to do a ping to the IP before 100, well, 192, 168, 10, 1, it is working. If we try to discover what is the name of this server we got that the name is share, if we try the IPv6 address, of course, it is working uh, as well. And if we do something like ping the name, then magic occurs. Because by default, Windows tried to connect using IPv6. But probably of all of you are aware of this. Is this true? Yeah. And you are taking care of IPv6 attacks, for sure. <laughs> well, this said, this said the, the idea of IPv6 is that uh, in Windows machine, uh, both protocols are working at the same time. Depending on the configuration of your network, the machine is going to use IPv4 or IPv6. If you have a, an IPv4 network fully configured with a domain controller with the DNS and all the computers are in the DNS and all of them are working with the IPv4, then the network are, is going to, to work as an IPv4 network by default. But if you are on a lo uh, in a local network connected with all the computers from different parts, they are not in the same DNS they are not in the same domain controller, then IPv6 will appear a lot of time. This is due that, uh, this is due because in Windows Vista, uh, Microsoft added this protocol, Local Lean Manager, which is a protocol uh, um, that tries to discover what is the IP address of a computer in the network. It is working only in, in the local network, in the local segment, and as you can see, it's trying to, com to uh, discover the IP address of the computer for any protocol. So it's trying to query the DNS as an R record, it's trying to query the DNS as an IPvC record, it's trying to, to do a broadcasting discovery. Sorry. Whatever. In the end, when local link manager discovered the, I the, the IP address of the destination server, if it's possible to connect using IPv6, then it's going to connect using IPv6. <coughs> Once we have the IP, the IP address, we need the physical address. To, to discover the physical address in IPv4, we are using ARP, but ARP is not working in IPv6 anymore. So if you have a security solution to detect man in the middle attacks with ARP, it's very good for IPv4, but not for IPv6. Because in IPv6, we are using a different protocol, which is neighbor discovery protocol, based in two different messages, which are neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertising. In the end, neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement are working at the same way that ARP, but it's not ARP. That's, uh, that's important. We got a, a table also in which we connect the, IP, the IPv6 address with the physical address. In, in IPv4 is the ARP table, in IPv6 is the neighbor table, and it's in your computer. You can, uh, you can uh, query the, the table using that command. This said, how it work, how it works is like this. Someone is trying to discover the IPv, the physical address of an IPv6 uh, computer, then send a, a message to FFAU2, which is a multicast address, querying for the IPv6 address in which is interested. In this case, this one. The computer with this IP, IPv6 address, in this case, uh, this one is going to answer with the physical address. It's very easy to understand. It's the same than, than ARP. That means perform a man in the middle attack in this environment is very easy. We only need to send two packets like ARP. It's very easy. The idea is that, that we need to, to send a packet to one of the computers spoofing the IPv6 address of the other victim and then do the same with the with the other machine. Only two packets and we have the man in the middle like in ARP. So let's do a very easy demo, a quick demo. It's level one. Very easy to, uh, to do and very easy to understand in this environment. But 
Before doing it, you have to take into account that we are Spaniards, so we are lazy. <laughs> we need tools for work. So we created the evil FOCA. Okay? In this demo, we have three machines. The blue one is a server. The red one is the victim, is the client. And the black one is the evil FOCA. So we only need to do something like open Wireshark, open evil FOCA, yes, then evil FOCA discovered the network, just drag, drag, click, and that's all. Okay? <laughs> So, if we go to, to Wireshark, if we go to Wireshark in this machine and we start to capture information, capture interfaces, internal, and we do something very easy, go to the client and from the client do slash slash server <coughs> connect to the server, open a document with my password, and then we go to to the FOCA, to the old FOCA, we only need to do follow TCP string and that's it. We got all the information and we can use the find to search for the password and here it is. Okay? Very easy to understand. <coughs> Well, th this is very easy, it's level one. I'm going to, to stop the server. I don't need the server anymore. And now we are going to get into the level two. The idea of level two is, okay, we got IPv6 in the network, but I want to be a man in the middle when the big thing connects to the internet which is working in IPv4 and that's the challenge. Well, this is the demo that I did it just in case that it didn't work it. And the second, and the second demo is an Slack attack. Yesterday uh, there was uh, a talk talking about this. We released this tool in, in March. It's public this tool in March with this attack and the idea is quite simple. In, in IPv6 there are a lot of computers, there are a big IP address and it would be impossible for a sysadmin to manage all the roads on the network. I have uh, 1,000 computers and 300 routers, it, it would be a mess. So the idea from the beginning is that you don't have to worry about the default gateway because we are going to create a, a protocol to configure the gateway on the computers. That protocol is Slack, that means stateless address auto configuration and the idea is quite simple when a computer with IPv6 needs to connect to the internet acts for a router with a package called router solicitation and if there is in a router in the network answer with the neighbor advertisement saying hey here a router here a friend. After that the computer configures uh, automatically an IPv6 network that uh, has connectivity with the router and configure the router as the default gateway. Very easy to do, very easy to understand. That protocol only configures the default gateway but not the DNS. You need to configure the DNS. Not always. You can use also the uh, rogue DHCP to configure the DNS but it's not completely necessary because uh, in Windows machines and um, there is a, a special um, protocol which is the DNS auto discovery. So if your computer doesn't have any DNS configured by default, use these three uh, IP address. That means that if someone configures that IP address in your network, it, it will be the DNS in your network. You, you need to take care of this IP address. So to do the, the attack is very easy because all web browsers are ready to work with IPv6. Well, this is Mozilla which is uh, ready for IPv6. In Google Chrome is deactivated. IPv6 is deactivated by default. So if the guy is using Google Chrome you cannot do this attack. You can do the next one. Don't worry. And there are, there, there are several situations in which uh, IPv6 uh, 
IPv6 attacks are not working very well because Windows have a very special behavior. If you have IPv4 and IPv6 fully configured, I mean with the DNS and the and the default gateway, then Windows use the DNS configured in the IPv4 uh, protocol. It makes sense because in the end, DNS is supposed to be only one copy in the whole internet. So it doesn't matter I'm connecting to the DNS using IPv4 or IPv6. And in Windows, they choose to use IPv4 protocol to connect to the DNS. If you don't have IPv4 fully configured, for instance, if the DHCP is, is falling to give you to the default gateway or to the DNS, then if we configure IPv6, uh, the computer is going to use the uh, IPv6. But in some cases, by default, it's searching for DNS record of IPv4 uh, re uh, address. That means that if we want to create an special man in the middle using IPv6 between the client and the man in the middle, we need to reconstruct the answers to uh, IPv6 records. And of course, if we got IPv6 in an IPv4 only in local link, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick, fucking parties. And if we got IPv6 and IPv4 with local link, then the DNS is going to be used uh, using IPv6 and is going to be querying DNS of IPv6 others. But it's very easy to, to change this behavior because if the, uh, if the client acts for a DNS query searching for an IPv4, you can respond with an IPv6 and everything goes well, so don't worry at all. So, what is uh, Evil Foca doing in this attack? The idea is quite simple. Evil Foca is going to be this guy using network address translation 6 to, to 4 and DNA 6 to 4. The idea is that we are going to configure, ooh, we are going to configure this connection, we are going to send an slack attack to configure this as default gateway. Then uh, it automatically is going to configure the DNS auto discovery to connect to the internet and uh, DNS auto discovery is an IPv6, so we are in the middle. We are going to capture all DNS queries. So when he asks for an IPv4 uh, URL, for instance, www.defcon.org, which is only working in IPv4, then that query is going to be sent to the default gateway. We are going to intercept the query. We are going to ask for the real IPv4 on the internet. <coughs> then we are going to convert the IPv4 to an IPv6 address and give the IPv6 address to the client and then the client is going to send the IPv6 uh, query to the default gateway and we are going to translate the IPv6 to IPv4 and send to the server and then get the answer and then it's very easy to understand. <laughs> But you know, we are Spaniards. <laughs> so let's do the demo. The idea in the first demo, we, we only need to send two packets, to make one for one bit and one for another. In this example, we need to send a packet to configure the Slack attack, and then we need to do all the translation. And in Evil Foca, we need to do this. First of all, I'm going to spend a lot of money using my Spanish mobile phone, but I need internet connection. <coughs> so, connect. Okay. Let's see if I have internet connection. Please, please, please. Okay. I got internet connection. Then I got the, the evil foca. I got the evil foca and the victim and I'm going to do something like open evil foca, I'm going to the victim, I'm going to reset the, the network adapter just in case that something was a start from previous demo, that's all. And all that we need to do is something like Go to Evil Foca 
and then select Slack, just click here and start. That's all. That's all. <laughs> if we go to, if we try to do something like, this is in the host machine. This is the host machine. If I try to connect to the DNS and search for an IPv6 address for defcon.org, uh, as you can see, there is not an IPv6 uh, address for defcon.org. And if we, we go to the victim and we open the web browser, And we search for www.google.com or defcon.org. Everything is working. Google and defcon. And if we search for the IP address that we are using to connect, is ping www.defcon.org is an IPv6 because we are changing the IPv4 to IPv6 and as uh, you can see we are browsing the internet. Hey. Well, this is the demo, just in case. <laughs> level 3. <laughs> Well, this is level three. The, we, we are not published uh, this version of Fo Evil Foca yet, but next week you, can, you will have the, the, this version available. And the idea is to, do, to use the web proxy auto discovery um, protocol in IPv6. The idea is quite simple. Uh, automatic, uh, by default, all web browser, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, uh, Mozilla, Firefox, and so on, by default are searching for a web proxy a web proxy to configure the internet connection to uh, discover what is the web, what is the web, uh, the web proxy uh, they are searching for an special record in the dns which is web proxy auto discovery with wpad and then connect to that ip address and that ip address uh, it's supposed to have a server and the server uh, gives a um, a special file and that special file uh, gives the IP address of the web server. In this case, the, of the proxy server. In this case, we are going to use uh, an IPv6 proxy with uh, Evil Foca. And the idea is that uh, Evil Foca is going to do everything for you. Evil Foca configures the DNS answer for WPAD, configures a rogue proxy server listening in the IPv6 network, and reroute all traffic between IPv4 and IPv6. So let's do the demo. And then we only need to, I'm going to disable and enable the network interface. Uh, I'm going to everything from the beginning. Disable and enable, okay. And then Go to Evil Foca, open Evil Foca, and then we select W Web Proxy Auto Discovery and click, and that's it. And right now we have here that we are working a man in the middle attack for Web Proxy Auto Discovery. Then we need to wait until a Web Proxy Auto Discovery query appears. Let's open. Internet Explorer, let's close Internet Explorer and let's open it again. And let's see, okay, now the proxy is up and the, the client has uh, requested the, the file, so if everything is okay, we can do something like google.com. Let's see if the internet is working very well. Go 
Google. Google, Google. Oh, internet, please. Be a good guy. Google. Here it is. Okay? Now, we, uh, we, are, we are doing the man in the middle again using different protocol, but we, need, uh, we wanted more. So this was the demo. The demo uh, was that the, uh, the client sent, the victim sent for WPAD a record. Then we answered saying, no, no, it's not an, an IPv4, it's an IPv6. Then the victim asks again about the WPAD uh, PAD record, but in this case searching for an IPv6 address. We confirmed, yes, this is the IPv6 of the, of the web proxy of the discovery server. Then victim connects to the web server requesting the double uh, the pack file with the information about the proxy we sent that information with the ipv6 and the port in which able foca is listening and the rest is just <coughs> capturing the data so bonus level what happened with https connection well there are several options. First one is to do an SSL uh, strip. The idea is that we analyze all HTML pages and remove the S of the links. The second one is to, you, to use a fake digital certificate and trying to, to cheat the user to click on OK I accept this digital certificate. And the third one is to do a bridging HTTPS. That means that FOCA is connecting to the to the server using HTTPS and uh, the client is connecting to Evil Foca using HTTP. And uh, uh, Foca is doing SSL strip and bridging HTTPS so far and we added a special feature that is uh, to, to remove the HTTPS links in Google results and also the redirect. So let's do the demo. We got here Google and if you can see if we try to, to open Gmail, we are going to have an HTTP link, but if we search for Facebook, we have the uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook in Spanish, you know, Facebook in Spanish, and the link is an HTTP, we only need to click on it, and then go to Evil Foca and open Wireshark, here it is. Open Wireshark, capture interface, start, and we got all traffic here, and we only need to go here and test. Oh, come on, it's still loading. Evil. <laughs> Where is my password field? <laughs> <laughs> Evil. Foca. Where is the enter? <laughs> no, no, don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and if we go to the other part and we search for. HTTP method uh, request method equal equal post. We got the user and password of Facebook. Eh, here it is. <laughs> well. It's man in the middle attack in IPv6, net, in IPv4 network using IPv6, uh, in a Spanish way. And this, this was the demo. Uh, in, in this tool, we also added other different attacks just, uh, just in case, like uh, uh, denial of services in, in IPv6, 
Man in the Middle Attacks in IPv4, Denial of Service in IPv6, DNS, hijacking. We are going to add also uh, to inject a JavaScript to create a JavaScript bondnet. Remind, remember the last year talk. And just a conclusion, IPv6 is in your network. Configure it or kill it. And it's not easy to kill it. <laughs> IPv6, uh, if you have security tools for IPv4, probably they are not working for IPv6. And right now there are a lot of uh, security tools using uh, IPv6, like Itopera, which is a port scanning using IP, uh, IPv6. So slow load is, is uh, is migrate to IPv6. We got some, uh, several vulnerabilities in IPv6 uh, products and so on. And I would like to, to, to give big thanks to the people behind the hacker choice because they did a very, very, very good job with IPv6 tools. If you got Backtrack or Kali, use it because they got a lot of, a lot of uh, good tools. And even uh, Scapy, Scapy is wonderful to test all, all solution. And the last word is for a street fighter. Who in the hell designed the Spanish fighter, half bullfighter, half Wolverine with a hockey mask? It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> See you next year.